Hello and welcome to this episode of Microchips. This is part two of a WLED series that I'm doing and we'll be looking at a basic synchronization between two and then three units without the need for MQTT or Node-RED or anything complicated. So let's take a look at the interface. Now there is actually very little to configure with this. But for me, I just have to make sure that the UDP ports are not the same as the WLED devices I've got set here. But these numbers should match with each unit you want to synchronize. And basically it's as simple as selecting the sync button. As you can see, we've just gone into the two web pages of both the units. We switched them on and off individually. Now we press the sync button and they both synchronize. Easy as that. Now it's not 100% perfect, but 99.9% .9 of the times it does synchronize correctly. I think maybe Wi-Fi signal strength may be a contributing factor because it is UDP fire and forget no error correction it's just send it if it doesn't get received or it's garbled then the receiving unit doesn't ask for it again it is just literally fire and forget but as you can see we can adjust effect speed there and they both adjust together So this is a very easy way to synchronize units together. And like I say, most of the time it does work. But if you want to do maybe something a little bit more complicated, you could use Node-RED and MQTT. And here we have three units. So we'll just power them on individually with no sync. And as you can see, they all come on. And if we press synchronize, they now start to sync together. Turn the overhead light off, makes it look a little bit better. You can see sometimes it doesn't behave itself. But I think that may just be down to Wi Fi. That's why I think using MQTT and Node Red is a little bit more stable than just fire and forget UDP. But for somebody who hasn't got an MQTT broker or is not running Node-RED, this is simple. So it's just as easy as that. Some of the effects do look good on the actual matrix of LEDs. And some of them look particularly good on the uh, string as well. So we'll just have a look at some more effects. Just changing the colours of the effect as well. So there is so much you can do with this software. It's um, it's it's amazing. And there we have it. Simple synchronization using one master and two slave units. But you could turn sync on on all of them. Then no matter which one you adjusted, it would be reflected. But that was just using a master and a slave. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
and we'll see you in the next episode.